Someone once said that, well, a bottle day keeps the doctor away. As today, it's going to be Echo Isles with Ted versus Todd here on day 14. It's going to be quite interesting because uh, Todd will be coming out as humans, which is uh, really a standard up for the Frenchman. And uh, what well, we got uh, Ted on the other side. And Ted and Todd, well, uh, naming conventions and everything. You know how it goes in, uh, in gaming. So uh, we'll be starting out here on Echo, on, uh, on Echo Isles. Uh, both players starting up quite nicely. Ultra Darkness on, uh, on Ted's side. As uh, we have the Ultra Kings coming out for Todd. Echo Isles, quite simple. You got Marketplace at the top. You got the tavern in the middle. And of course, the shop in the bottom. The shop will be rather important to sell off your items. You got this uh, single expansion, which both sides have, by the way. And uh, that will be the, uh, the main focus if the game gets uh, to the late stages. Whether or not that is the case, we shall see. Uh, but uh, we shall see whether or not uh, anything interesting will happen. Let's see, Crypt coming out. Ultra Darkness as well. I'm going to expect a Death Knight to come out for uh, for Ted. And uh, if not, then maybe a Lich. We'll see whether or not this is the case. As uh, <coughs> uh, Ultra Kings comes up. And we're going to have a... Ooh, a Mountain King. First hero for Todd is going to be a Mountain King. First time I've seen something like that happen. As... Uh, both players uh, continue on. Mountain King could uh, can tank quite a lot of damage. Barracks as well, coming up with a footman. So uh, this could be meaning that uh, Todd could force focus on mostly on surrounds, but we'll see any like anything like that will happen. Farm coming out. They'll be able to scout any uh, forces that Ted sends in. As an Acropolis is already up. Ted is moving an early Necropolis at the bottom. A very, very interesting move right there. That, that Necropolis is going to be very important. It's going to be probably be used as a staging area for uh, Ted to move his units up towards the uh, uh, towards the town of, uh, of Todd. Especially because it's so close to the Goblin Merchant. Uh, we'll be able to uh, use it as a station, staging post to get there, his gold up. we got a Death Knight on the field. You know, uh, Ted did go for that uh, class, but we shall see whether or not the surprise uh, Necropolis will uh, come into play later on. A couple more footmen coming in, as well as a whole bunch of militia to back up this Mountain King. And you'll be able to uh, to build up quite early. As uh, Ted, so far, does not know that Todd has a Mountain King on the field. And the he probably predicted that Todd will go for the Death Knight, but we shall see. Probably expecting an Archmage or something akin to that. I know he's not. He's managed to scout it out. A Mountain King, so now he knows exactly what to do. As, uh, we shall see what he's going to do. Probably something ranged. I wouldn't surprise if that is the case. As, uh, the Necropolis is almost up. And uh, as soon as that comes up, then the Blight will ex uh, expand on the ground. And the buildings will be able to be uh, constructed. As this Acolyte is on standby just in case. Just around the corner to make sure that uh, that will go up really, really quickly as soon as he needs to. Death Knight only managed to get one kill. Took down one of the uh, players' forces are under attack. <laughs> took down one of the uh, uh, militia, I believe. And he does take down one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, nat neutral creatures, so that he can use his uh, rod of necromancy to get that up going. Here we go. Expansion is up, as the acolyte will most likely move in now to uh, start building. Uh, these skeletal warriors are coming out already. A lot of ghouls moving out of all as well. We shall see this how, how this is going to work because this is a fairly that. interesting setup. Uh, I've seen something like this before, and it involved a whole bunch of Nerubian towers that were being spammed. But I believe that was on this side rather than down here. It's an interesting move. Uh, this, uh, this, this necropolis does mean that uh, Todd could have a difficult uh, well time Trying to get to the creeps on this side. The gold mine is being uh, uh, being hunted. The circuit of mobility is on there. And, uh, and there we go. Ziggurats are coming up. So Nerubian Towers will be being built rather shortly. And the Death Knight is standing around. He's gone for Unholy Aura. So uh, any troops that he fields will be able to go up if in speed as well as strength. Ooh, he needs to watch out that Todd does not get the uh, that Todd does not scout out the expand expansion. Uh, the Death Knight just try to get some more damage in. Oh, we got an, a second expansion coming up with towers everywhere. 
is uh, Todd tries an expansion of his own and needs to get that out of the picture. Peasants who could be going down. Need to start raging in towards these peasants. All right, that's one down. Second one is going down as well. Uh, the Mountain King does not want anything like that. He needs to get this expansion up. These towers are still no problem. Blish out on the field, and we've got Shadow Priest as well. Trying to give him more damage, and Death Knight, Death Coil coming in. As, uh, ooh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's that one out of the count, as uh, the ghoul does go down. But this expansion is a tr is a problem. Even though, it, because the peasants are gone, and they won't be able to build it. There we go, peasants are on standby. A player's fort I need to continue to build. Your know, Nerubian towers are up, and a crypt is coming out. Uh, looks like uh, Ted is going to use this area as a... As is, uh, well, the uh, the zone of operations. And he still hasn't been scouted yet. Mountain King coming in. Ooh, he will be able to scout that. He will be knowing that there's blight in the ground there. Let's see whether or not Todd can actually see it. Um, I, yeah, Todd does know that it's there. And there we go. Mountain King coming in from behind. And then Ruby, and ooh, surround. Ooh, do we have a surround there? Ooh, almost. No, oh, could be. No, never won't happen. Is uh, the uh, the expansion is still in a little bit of trouble. Another uh, ghoul is coming out for Ted. A player's forces mm. are under he attack. He is trying to get more troops from his necropolis. His expansion from Todd is almost done. The towers are on standby. Let's we'll see whether or not he can do anything with that. Uh, necropolis. Oh, he's leveling up. Halls of the Dead are coming out. We could be looking at obsidian statues from Ted somewhere in the very near future. As he needs to uh, continue to build this up. This uh, circle of nobility would be help out as well. Just plus two to, s to strength, agility, and intelligence. Mm. Not picking that up. And even if he didn't want to use it, he could just uh, well use that as uh, as a buffer. Maybe he's building a. Uh, maybe he's just saving it for a later lich or something along those lines. We'll see whether or not he will. A little bit preoccupied at the moment anyway with these with this mountain king, just running around. The Rubian Tower is still up. This expansion is almost up as well. Both players going for players a fairly quick expansion. As another gra graveyard comes up in the bottom, there's a Nerubian Tower there as well. So looks like Ted is going for full defense. Ooh, that Shadow Patrol is almost done as well. And the Death Knight right now could use a um, an orb of, uh, of lightning to get these range attacks, which would be nice. As well as that additional damage. We'll see whether or not he'll get one later on. Ooh, Death Coil coming in. There we go. That's one of the uh, Shadow Priests out of the full uh, out, out of the uh, out of the field. Bit more damage coming in. Ooh, well Shadow Priest for gold. Eh, for ghoul, my apologies. Death Knight is almost at level three. How's that? Our forces are under attack. The uh, Mount King himself is a level four. He's leveling up quite nicely, and he's. Uh, and the, the Death Knight goes for level 3 himself now as well. Managed to get the creeps uh, going. And the Death Knight could be in a little bit of trouble. Arcane Vault being built. And uh, looks like Todd is going to use this area as his uh, well, his base of operations. Leaving the ba his base for what it is. Putting a couple more, a couple more Arcane Towers or Scout Towers up. And are we going to see another Gold hero done. on the field yet? No, not just yet. Halls of, the Halls of the Dead are still coming up. There's uh, Unholy Aura still on the, the Death Knight. We'll be able to run, uh, run his troops around the field quite quickly. Back towards the blight. Heal up your ghouls. That does so. Good man. Upgrade complete. Guard tower is up at the bottom now. Two guard towers next to each other. Fairly uh, a lot of damage right there. Is uh, uh, Ted could have some trouble engaging. We got a second, a third hero, a second hero for uh, Ted. Brewmaster on the map. Vote we'll for going for fireball. One more. <laughs> nice one. Takes down the uh, another of these uh, uh, the shadow priests. And uh, ooh, the mountain king is surrounded. TP coming in from the mountain king. He probably need will need to. Ooh, but he managed to break this around. A little bit of a uh, bit of a little bit unlucky there. That was. Ooh, can we see another surround now again? Eh, not gonna happen. Mountain king is still playing around. He knows that that brewmaster could be a lot of trouble, and he can, should not um, put his troops too uh, too too, uh, too clustered together. As we have gargoyles on the map, gargoyles are on the field, and that looks like uh, 
Ted, uh, Ted is going for uh, ranged units, and it's going to be problematic. Uh, that's going to be problematic for the Mountain King to counter. As I say that, the gargoyle does okay. go down. <laughs> the, the Black Citadel is coming up, tier three for uh, Ted, as uh, he's building more ziggurats and more gargoyles. And he's got basically has effectively has three expansions going for him. No crypts, yeah, nothing really interesting. He needs to level up his uh, brewmaster. Get more damage on that. Oh, there's creeps right there. Job's Just go done. for it. Ugh. Upgrade, job done. Uh, let's see, more towers coming up in the bays of Todd. Going for uh, improved masonry as well as a blacksmith is coming out. Is that? Job done. Right now. Job looking done. on the map, there's not much going on right now. A little bit of a boring spell Job going done. on inside the game. Our forces are under attack. Is that the Mountain King does try to uh, skill up for himself a little bit. Here's level four. Upgrade complete. And we'll continue to uh, to uh, creep up through the ranks of these uh, these Murlocs. A, little, a couple more creep camps uh, around the map. Nothing really strong though. Well, we have this uh, this ogre mage. I I really expected them to go for it out a little bit sooner though. Considering it's a lot of uh, XP right there. More gargoyles on the field. They'll be going for it. These guard towers are being built. Gargoyles one, two. More towers in the back being pulled up as soon as they possibly can. There is another tower there. Guard tower is almost up. And it's being cancelled. Okay, one more. Scar Tower, two more Gar Towers on the side. Healing coming in. Unholy Aura does a lot of damage. Uh, it really helps out the troops of Ted. This Pandaren Brewmaster could be in a little bit of trouble. The uh, little bit of damage there still. Yeah, here, Pandaren, Pandaren Brewmaster does go down. And the, uh, the Mountain King manages to uh, take him down. These gargoyles are still on the field. They're trying to take these towers down. Peasants are really trying to build up. The gargoyles go back on the field as uh, this attack really did not go too well. Second hero is on the map for uh, for Todd. The Paladin did not see him just yet. We'll see whether or not he can do anything with that. But first is undead, a very strong class. Job's done. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Oh, I need to sneeze there. And uh, the Paladin uh, still has got these, uh, this tower, this base under control. More uh, towers coming up. A couple done. of Irish towers. There's a uh, rifleman on the field now for Todd. Upgrade complete. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm not quite sure what's uh, uh, happening with me. Workshops uh, being fielded uh, on the front line. So we could be looking at some tanks Our coming out from, uh, from Todd. And he's gone for a full barracks as well. And knights being fielded. So we shall see whether or not they will be able to counter the hordes of the undead from Ted. Possibly tanks combined with knights versus gargoyles. Oh, the, uh, the Arclites are in a little bit of trouble there. TP coming in. What is that? Uh, there we go. The uh, the mountain king tried to go after the acolytes. Did not help very much. And uh, the paladin really needs to heal up as well, uh, level up as well. Could be going after these uh, these murlocs just to get a little bit more XP on him. And there we go. Staff of sanctuary. It's got a healing light and this ivory tower. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I was just waiting for the knights to come in. And we'll be able to level up rather shortly. You on level two? We'll uh, get back to him as soon as he. Uh, it's level two, and something more interesting goes on with him. Uh, circle of nobility. Did that circle of nobility ever get picked up? Yeah, it did. Um, okay, let's see what Ted is up to. Go for more creeping. Ah, finally going after the Ogre Magi. Uh, Dust of Appearance, Invulnerability Potion will be very good later on. And Rod, and Rod, uh, Rod of Necromancy on the Panda. Upgrade. There's uh, more creeping going on. It looks like uh, the Death Knight is almost about to level up to level 4. There we go, level 4 on the Death Knight. And the Brewmaster is almost level 3. So currently, Todd is ahead level-wise. His, uh, his Mountain King is level 5. Summoning is complete. And his uh, Paladin is level 2. And he's summoning some stuff up. What is he doing? 
sacrificial pit. So mm, we'll see. Uh, getting a couple shades out there. He needs to know what's going on. And we have siege, en siege engines on the map. Tanks have been fielded. As predicted. As well as flying machines. That'll be an interesting counter for uh, for Ted to come up with. Our forces are under attack. Being animal war training for the uh, for the knights being researched right now. As, uh, so far, Ted that has not play, been playing so so well so far. He only managed to get 28 uh, of uh, food worth was killed, and well, Todd himself is at 53 right now. He's doing fairly nice. We got a a dreadlord on the field now as well. A three hero stack by Todd. Or by Ted, my apologies. And, uh, he's going for a full gargoyle build. So that'll be uh, interesting to do uh, with those flying machines. And I don't think he scouted those out just yet. Especially with these workshops there. More knights coming out for Todd. Uh, just based, uh, we got yeah, stone form on the gargoyles, so he'll be able to heal those back up. A vampiric aura from the Dreadlord coming in as well. And I'm surprised that he didn't go for a Lich, actually. That's really the combination that you'd see uh, for Undead. Uh, a Lich combined with a, uh, a Death Knight is a very, very powerful combination. Research complete. But he opted not to go for it. Dreadlord will be trying to uh, level up through this Our one. Gargantuan Sea Turtle will be primed. These gargoyles Our do the job fairly well. Oh, we got this. Uh, the Mountain King once again trying to drop in towards the back of the base of Ted. Trying to go after the Acolytes. Needs to micro them out of there. That's really just Research to interrupt his, uh, his gold mine operations. Currently, he's got 3,600 left in the gold mine. Uh, I believe the Dreadlord managed to level up. Where is he? Yeah, level Our three. So he's doing attack. quite nicely so far. As, uh, the Mountain King is in place. He's getting a little bit attacked. Sitting in the back of the base. Uh, still getting a lot of damage on him. Ooh, T TP is there. And he calls it in. There we go. Gar too many gargoyles there. And you also know that the Dreadlord is on the field. So we'll have to think about countering that as well. Expansion-wise... This expansion doing quite nice, as well as the siege engine is still in place. And, uh, that will be great versus towers. But look at all those gargoyles. Maximum level damage, uh, as well as ra range, as well as uh, melee. Death coil coming in on the paladin. Yeah, he's going for a uh, divine shield. As, uh, Ooh, what was that? Uh, just no more acolyte. Nothing really interesting. Uh, more acolytes coming out. Let's let's see what he's building. Boneyard coming out. Uh, improved Upgrade. creature carapace. So he's completely focusing right now on top of the, uh, the ready. on top of the gargoyles. Look at those gargoyles. There's so many of them. <laughs> uh, up. Improved creature carapace is up. And uh, here we go. Ted is going to try to finish this off. Here we go. Uh, fireball coming in from the panda. Uh, one of the uh, uh, riflemen did go down. Operation successful. One unit off the field. And for those people that are wondering, well, it's only one unit. Well, that's experience right there. That'll stack on top of the heroes. And there's nothing more important in this game than experience. Aside from winning, that is. Uh, the Paladin is now level 3, and the Mountain King's level 5. He's got Staff of TP, and he still has a scroll of uh, Town Portal. Research the Paladin uh, has got Staff of Sanctuary. Gold-wise, Todd, let me, let me just get this straight, he's got 2,500 gold and 884 lumber. He can practically build himself a, a gold-plated fortress if he really wanted to. Uh, these gargoyles are absolutely making minced meat out of the... Uh, out of the uh, creeps over here, and he's going to go after more creeps. Uh, trying to level up his units as much as he possibly can. Let's continue to get these uh, creeps out of there. That's another one down. Get these items out in the field. Cause Ted has got about four or 500 gold right now himself. Needs to continue to move out, get more creeps going for him. I don't think there's no more creeps on the field, actually. As uh, Todd does have high upkeep going for him. Look at all those tanks. Smash these siege engines. Flying machine will go first as the uh, 
uh, versus the uh, the gargoyles, <laughs> and they he asks Scout and them out. That's right. Ted knows the the siege engines are on the map and need to counter them rather shortly. How's that? Ted, being quite reluctant to engage, continues to build up. Uh, Upgrade complete. Continues to build up these gargoyles, and Todd on the other side is trying to minimize the use of peasants that he's gonna need, and he's just building more and more siege Upgrade engines. Complete. When in doubt, build more towers. When in more doubt, build siege engines, especially when there's about Upgrade eight complete. on the field. Research complete. So much damage, right there. All right, this could be it right here. Our gold mine is nearly empty. Yeah, uh, the knights are moving out. Mm, no, they will be uh, moving them out as well. Obsidian stats are still there. As uh, the troops of Ted continue to move around with this mass of gargoyles, just going back and forth, trying to find a weak spot. And Todd's range, and we have a frostworm on the field. Are uh, we going to see more, or like more of that, more frostworms, uh, boneyard, sacrificial pit, and uh, nothing really interesting so far. As the uh, troops do continue to roll out, and both players are playing it quite boring at the moment, but there's a good reason for that. They're just feeling each other out, see what they can do. Which in itself is a fairly good move, but look at all these troops. This is the polar opposite right there. We got the siege engines on one side, and we got a proverbial crapton of gargoyles on the other. It's quite ridiculous. Upgrade complete. The dam stands ready. Flying machine is out in the field now as well, just scouting out what's going on. Gargoyles are going to try to engage. They're chasing, but could it just be bait? Ooh, needs to wait out a little bit. As the uh, the flying machine can outrange them. Dreadlord trying to move in. He's got a skull of corruption, so he will be able to uh, attack with air and slow down a said unit. But both players, once again, taking it slowly. Just going around the map. Ted currently is at a fair disadvantage. He's got 31 uh, uh, w foods worth of kills on his side. Research while complete. Todd's got 60 kills of food worth on his. And neither player really has an advantage. Or they would have attacked a long time ago. Siege engine moving forward. And look at those knights. It's just, just look at that. That's just 15 knights. Just sitting in. Uh, looks like uh, looks like Todd. Uh, looks like Ted is gonna go uh, find himself a whole bunch of siege engines in his backyard rather shortly. Still not being scouted out. As the gargoyles sit happily in the base, with the frost worm in place. Frost worm will be able to slow down Our the gold units. Mine has collapsed. Uh, the gold mine does Summoning go down. And here we go. The knights are in place. Gargoyles are just around the corner. We have that obsidian statue. We'll be able to heal out uh, most of their units. They're being the oh, holy crap! The entire base is being unsummoned. <laughs> that's a uh, that's an interesting move. All the ba the entire base of Ted is being unsummoned as we speak. There we go. Black Citadel crypt all going down. And <laughs> that's uh, an interesting move right there. Even the even the altar of darkness is being unsummoned, and he's being rebuilt at the bottom. <laughs> that must have been a uh, WTF moment right there for uh, for Todd. It's like, ah, oh, I'll just go kill your base now. Oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame. Now, Zap and Siege Engines now make their way to the south. The north shall rise again, in this case. Well, well originally, it would be the south in that particular Summon. moment, but we'll still see whether or not that is the case. Uh, another Summon shade coming out. Complete. Upgrade complete. As uh, the engagement is underway, fire breath from the brewmaster. No, not just yet. Siege engines are engaging. Here we go. The final battle could be going underway. Another frostworm is coming out. Upgrade complete. The meat wagon is being primed. Oh, look at all that damage! Holy crap! So much damage coming in towards these gargoyles. That air attack from the siege engines is absolutely ridiculous. More missiles coming out. One gargoyle is down. 
The entire sky consists of explosions. It's like Berlin and the, uh, this, at the end of the first attacks on, uh, on said city during WW2. All oh, needs to get the healing done as well. The Obsidian Statue is trying to heal as much as he possibly can. The Death Knight himself is a little bit low as uh, these uh, Siege is doing the damage. The Frostworm needs to get more damage in towards uh, said machines, but it looks like this, uh, these Siege Engines are not going down very, very quickly. So much damage being put out by these Siege Engines as these Gargoyles are getting so much damage out and the Knights are doing the, the rest. <coughs> Death Knight does try to get out. The focus is now on the siege engines. All the missiles are in the air now. One siege engine is still not down. And look at that carnage on the ground. The siege engine could go down. Frostworm is still trying to slow them down. But the fire is still going in there. Fire, breath of uh, fire from the from the brewmaster as well. Level up on towards the death knight. Don't make that the panda. They're trying to get out of there. Oh, they're all low. The, all the gargoyles are really, really low. I don't see Ted getting out of this alive. He needs to backtrack. Stone form on towards his gargoyles, trying to heal up his, uh, trying to heal them up as fast as they can. Siege engines going around, trying to get as much damage on towards the builders as they possibly can. Ooh, this one's a little bit low. <coughs> the Nerubian and the Spirit Tower is getting the damage done. This one will go down. That's one down. Avatar is also now on the field from Todd. Frost Worm is a little bit trouble. The Death Knight could be going down. 150, 60 health on the remaining. Avatar finding himself in the field. There we go, TP coming in, and uh, he will be getting out of there towards the other expansion. But his base is toast, and uh, Todd has managed to win this with just Siege Engines alone. Although, the fight does continue, and he still does have a lot of gargoyles, and the investment in stone form did really help. But if only one hero goes down, then he's basically screwed. More missiles in the air. Crossworm is primary. Brewmaster, oh, the Brewmaster is surrounded. Oh, dear. Yeah, that could be problematic. And uh, the Mountain King has managed to surround the uh, the uh, the Brewmaster. And now the Death Knight is going to go in. The Death Knight is going to go down. The Death Knight is going to go down. Almost so close. He's, so, he's got only 12 health on him. TP coming in from uh, the uh, from the uh, from, uh, from the Mountain King. As this base has been unsummoned as well. Good game being called by Ted. As uh, he can't bear to see it anymore as Todd manages to pull this one off. Siege engines galore. Siege engines, the term of the day. When in doubt, build towers. When in more doubt, build siege engines. As Ted uh, manages to lose his one and Todd, once again, manages to pick this up. The Frenchman uh, over, uh, well, coming over from uh, all of his, uh, from his uh, previous losses and managed to uh, take down the undead. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's 30 Days of Warcraft, Day 14. We're halfway there. And uh, tomorrow, tune in for Day 15 of 30 Days of Warcraft. Good fight. Good night.